You ready to hear the word of the Lord today? Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's welcome Elder Johnny Watts as he comes to bring this morning's message. Amen. Amen. Your family gonna do 
the very same thing. And that's one of the reasons why when we have children to raise, we better make sure we do it the way God wants it done, not the way we want it done. Because children has a habit of looking at you and listening to what you say. And the very things you say, the kids wind up saying it. And then you wonder to yourself, where did he or she get this from? Because it came out of your mouth. Came out of your mouth. And what they don't learn from you, they learn from the world. So we are disciples of the Lord. So we got to make sure that we do everything according to God's will and his way. Not ours, but his will and his way. Because when God gives you something to do, don't hesitate about doing it. Do it. Because it's meant to be done. Amen. And if God leads you and guides you in a direction that you know you should go and the way you should live, do it. Don't say, I can't, I, I won't. Do it. Because God has a plan for you and I to do his work according to his will in his way. And when we do it the way God wants it done, it's done perfectly. But when we try to do it, there's a lot of mistakes made. But we try to do it on our own and leave, it, and leave God out. But when you give the Lord your problems, your situations, or whatever it is, Leave it at the altar. Don't go and get it and try to fix it because it will never be fixed according to God's will in his way. John the Baptist was a preacher in the wilderness preaching God's word, leading and guiding. He was a forerunner for Christ, just like we are the forerunners now for the Lord because he is soon to come. We don't know the day, not the hour, not the minute, not the second that he's coming, but he's coming back. He's coming back to accept his children unto him. Those that live according to his will and his way and do the things that he wants done. Not the things we want done, but the things God want done. And we can't have to do it. We got to do it all the way. I don't do it at all. And when we don't do it at all, we are held accountable. So that means we got to do everything God puts in front of us to do and do it right. Because he is the leader of all things. And when he gives us a job to do, we got to do that job. Regardless of the situation or the problem, we got to do the job that God called us to do. Because if we don't, we're going to be held accountable. Be held accountable. I know you don't want nobody's blood stained on your hand. I know I don't. That's the reason why we got to do what God wants us to do. What he wants us to do it. And we got to live according to his will and his way in order to do the job that God gives us to do. And when we do it, we got to do it right. We can't have a step with God. We got to be all the way or no way at all. Because he's an almighty God. He's the king of kings, lord of lords. Alpha and Omega, beginning and the ending, the first and the last. And without him, you and I can't make it. The world can't make it. You look at the situations and the things that's going on now, a lot of the peoples don't have God on their mind. They just have what they figure in their mind and their head. They can do and get away with it. But God says no. And that's the reason why so many people are suffering in this world this day and time because they forget about God. He is the King of Kings. He is the Almighty God. Amen. 
And we got to live according to his will in his way. Because if we don't, we're going to make a lot of mistakes. And I don't want to make no mistakes because God is my King of Kings. And he is yours. So be careful what you do and what you say before your sisters and brothers. If y'all go old, do it and do it right. Speak the right words unto the Lord. For the Lord, because he gives you the words to say unto his people. And when you do what he wants done, it's done perfectly. Because John the Baptist done what God wanted him to do. Even though he was in the wilderness preaching the word of God. Preparing the full coming of Christ. We are forerunners. And by us being forerunners, we got to do everything and do it right. Because if we don't, we're going to be held accountable. And I know you don't, and I don't. But God has a way of doing everything. And when he does it, it's done perfectly, and it's done right. The way he wants it done. Not the way we want it done. That's the reason why when we go down on our knees and talk to the Lord, we give him all that we can give him. Amen. And that's the reason why it says when you come before the Lord, you come before him as a creature unto Christ. You are the disciple under Christ, so you come to him yeah. and ask for forgiveness of all your sins and all your trespasses that you have done to someone else. And if you have made your sister or brother upset about something, go to that person. Talk to that person. Ask for forgiveness. If they don't accept it, then God yeah. knows right. their heart. You are in the clear because you went to them. You asked for forgiveness. And when you ask for forgiveness, you are clear before God. And then he also said, if they don't, bring a friend with you. And then if they still don't accept it, carry them before the church. And when, they, when you carry them before the church, if they don't accept it, then that's on them. It's not on you anymore. All of it is in God's hands. That's the reason why we have to turn it all over. All over unto the Lord. For him to work it out. Without God, we can't do nothing. We can't do nothing. Through him and by him, all things are possible. That's the reason why we have to depend on the Lord. We can't depend on us, ourselves. We can't depend on mother, father, sister, and brother, auntie, and uncle. We have to depend on the Lord. Because there's one thing about it. I can call Mother Clucky. Her phone might be busy. I can call Grandma Ethel. Her phone might be busy. I might call Ruthie. Her phone might be busy. Call Sister Barbara Young. Her phone might be busy. Call the pastor. His phone might be busy. But God's phone is never busy. That's the reason why he says, I got a telephone in my bosom and I can call him up and tell him what I want. Early in the morning, in the midday, late in the evening, and in the midnight hours. Call him, but his line is never busy. That's right. That's the reason why we can depend on him. Because he is the Almighty God. He leads us and guides us in the right direction. Bless if we have a desire to live for him. Yes. And when you have a desire to live for the Lord and do what God wants you to do, he's going to lead you and guide you in the right direction. And when, you, when he leads you and guides you in the right direction, if you go to the grocery store, furniture store, clothing store, or wherever you go, somebody
everybody's going to see the Lord in you. And when they see the Lord in you, the first thing they think to himself, huh, he looks different, she looks different. I wonder what's the difference between them and me. Simply because you don't have the Lord. I've been in places, me and my son, nephew, been in places and walking through the store and have people looking at us real funny and have someone to come up and ask for prayer. They know the difference between the righteous and the unrighteous, the clean and the unclean. Mm -hmm. Not just in grocery stores and clothing stores, but in the shopping center. And you have a habit of speaking to people. And you speak, and they'll speak to you and say, how you doing? And my slogan is, I am blessed. Yeah. And I had one young man to come behind me and touch me on the shoulder and say, Sir, says, what do you mean about you're blessed? I says, oh, okay, I'll explain it to you. I'll explain it to you. Yeah. I said, so it's simply because God woke me up this morning. I said, he woke up some of the others, but they couldn't get out. Yeah. Yeah. I said, some didn't wake up at all. Mm -hmm. I said, but he woke me up. Activity of my limbs. Yeah. Gave me the activity of my limbs to go and do what has to be done. And I said, also, you think about it, young man. I said, God gave you the job that you have right here at this store. I said, if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have this job. You wouldn't have the activities of your lamb. You would be able to get up and do what you need to do. Yeah. I said, all comes from God. And he says, thank you very much. So I understand what you mean by you are blessed. Yes. And it's hard for the young generation to catch on to what God is doing. True. And a lot of them is not being trained at home. Mm -hmm. They learn everything the hard way and on their own. But if you're raising a family, take time and teach them the word, give them more God's word, and lead them and guide them in the right direction. And if you have an opportunity and you're able, go into God's house and give him the praise. Because he gives you the automobile you drive, he gives you the home you live in, he gives you the clothes that you wear, he give you the shoes that walk on your feet. And if you need a doctor, he has a doctor out there for you to go to. God has everything. Everything you need, have. Everything you need, God has it. All you have to do is just ask him. And he will supply. He'll supply all your needs. He'll supply them all. Because God got everything in his hands. Everything in his hand. Praise the Lord. 